They weren't shooting no, you hear me? They weren't shoot, shooting a thousand, batting a thousand on the side, shooting a hundred, batting a hundred. They were shooting little, little, little petty twenties, little petty fives. Somebody was down about sixty dollars. Man, bro, you cheating, bro? Give my da da da, da bro. I ain't cheating nothing, bro. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Who you getting aggressive with? Man, stop playing with me, pow pow. All right, come on, lash. I'm telling y'all, this really be how I going, bro. If I'm lying, I'm flying. What it do, YouTube? It's Ty Fatty with the Fatty. Back at y'all with another video, man. I know why we here to handle business, but before we handle that business, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, bro. I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna say it one more matter of fact. Like, comment, subscribe. For I gotta beat you up, man. I know what's going on. We got the story up. I'm assuming they go by MOB. I don't think people just walk around calling themselves mob. Hey, hey, we mob. Nah, I think it's MOB. That's just what it makes sense. And we it's they in Chicago, so it just fit the narrative. With that being said, man, let's get it. See what's going on. Let's go. Shout out Funa, man. Y'all know me and Funa. Locked in. So <laughs> like a, like a sock in his shoe. There are dozens of different wars being fought on each side of the Look city. There Blitz. are some Blitz games here. Blitz that are there. at war with 10 Blitz different everywhere. oppositions. The subjects of today's video are involved in some of the bloodiest and most publicized wars in Chicago that shape the drill scene as we see it today. The subjects of today's video are none other than MOB, yeah, and today we're going to be MLB. telling their story. So before familiar. we get into the video, like I said, man, shout out to like and subscribe. They be doing a thug dizzle. MOB is a set of mainly gangster disciples from around the area of 56 in Michigan in Chicago. Their exact turf is large, ranging from 56th to 60th in state to Michigan. MOB is allied with STL, EBT, 051 Young Money, and Jarl City. They primarily beef with Front Street, Nico Gang, O Block, THF 46, Black Gate, Shields, and 600. With all of this conflict going on, the boy. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. Mate, that's a lot of territory. That is a lot of people do names of groups and i know for a fact that's a lot of individuals Charlie. i know chicago is like real live a war zone like chirac that might be the best nickname somebody's ever came up with like chirac is crazy because that shit really like iraq no cap <laughs> bullets with no cap switch here flying. switch there switch everywhere the death of june bug man let's get it on I'm, september 2nd 2007 a group of MOB members were driving in a car southbound on the 5600 block of Wabish when they noticed that they were being followed by a red Impala driven by a person nicknamed Cabbage. They tried to get away from him by running a red light, but Cabbage allegedly chased them down and shot up their car. Mm. While trying to escape and resist the gunfire, the MOB member's car collided with another vehicle, Dang. bringing them to a stop. An MOB member named Junebug Real name Xavier Washington was one of the people in the car and he was shot four times in the back during this Dang. incident. Junebug was transported to Stroger Hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 14 years old. Cabbage, real name Julian Myers, was arrested and charged with this murder. I cannot find information on whether or not he was convicted or beat the case. MLB members would mourn the death of Junebug while their ops would celebrate and diss him constantly for years on end. Soon, MLB would find themselves wrapped up in one of the deadliest feuds in Chicago. Baldy. On July 27, 2011, a 600 member named Baldy, real name Marcus London, was with another man on the 6,000 block of South Prairie Avenue at about 12.55 a.m. when they were ambushed by gunmen. Baldy was shot in the head, mm. and the other man was shot in the ankle. Baldy was transported to Mount Sinai Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 19 years old. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I swear to God, the two most common... When I hear something, I just know for... I, 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 didn't, I know I heard it before, and I kind of like can picture it. Bro, with... It, based on these Chicago videos, whenever they say these two things, I swear to God, it just be like, oh, light bulb in my head. King Drive and Mount Sinai Hospital. I swear to God, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Bro, you hear that? I hear Mount Sinai in every Chicago video I do. And I'm not, like, you feel me? Like, it's just like, I know it's the hospital for this part of Chicago, but it's like, God damn, like, everybody in that joint, bro. And I know for a fact, you know, people are ignorant, bro. That's just call it spade for spade. 
People are ignorant, especially people of my color. A lot of people are very ignorant. Bro, I know for a fact, bro, you see this group, see one of these groups in Mount Sinai because both of their homies got shot whatever. They start shooting that joint, bro. I just know they go down like that, bro. And that shit crazy. <laughs> 600 Shot rack, for the real. moniker Baldy World in his honor. Members of MOB were allegedly responsible for this murder. Baldy's death mm. would take the already existent feud between MOB and 600 to another level and lead to them killing each other back and forth. Members of MOB posted a vlog of themselves on YouTube in which they bragged about killing Baldy and snitched on themselves. Mm. They sent his ass to Baldy real. When we hit Baldy in his head, his shit was spinning. Gee. His shit was spinning. <laughs> dead looking like Baldy when we rolled up. No one has ever been charged with this murder. Losing Baldy made 600 hungry to catch an MOB member. One of MOB's most notorious members was a guy named Scrap. Scrap mm. had a reputation in the streets for being I heard it, I heard it, I heard it and never before, backing down for from sure. anyone. As the beef was escalating, Scrap's family moved into a house right in 600's hood. An original 600 member named Tay Capone did a story time on YouTube in which he explained the crazy events that took place around this time. He explained that Scrap's father would go on the block and beg 600 members not to kill his son. But all of that went out the window after Baldy was killed. The Damn. death of Baldy made 600 desperate to kill Scrap, but they could never catch him coming in or out of his house. Eventually, a 600 member named Little Steve got frustrated and decided to shoot Scrap's house up. Damn. No one was killed in this incident, but it made MOB target Little Steve. On September 19th, 2011, Little Steve, real name Stephen McGee, was with multiple people walking down the 6th Southern block of South Prairie Avenue when multiple MOB members popped out of an alley and began shooting at them. Damn. Little Steve was fatally shot in the neck and was pronounced dead at just 15 years old. It is believed that Scrap was allegedly the one that fired the shots that killed Little hey, Steve. Bro, Chicago Scrap crazy, was arrested bro. and charged with this murder. He did some time in jail while awaiting trial, but he eventually beat the case and was let back out to the streets. After winning trial, Scrap would go on to brag about killing Little Steve and MLB would be linked to more murders. Them, them young is crazy, bro. On October 18th, 2011, multiple O Block members were hanging out on their block when two men wearing dark colored clothing approached them. The two men opened fire on an O Block member by the name of Patoon, real name Edward Riley. Patoon was shot multiple times in the head, wrist, and chest. After shooting Patoon, the men turned their attention to another O Block member named Oogie, who was only 15 years old at the time. Oogie was shot in the jaw, ear, Damn. and hand, Damn. but he luckily survived his injuries. Patoon was taken to Stroger Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 20 years old. Years later, Damn. police documents would be released that identified an EBT member named Little B as one of the two shooters in this incident. It is widely rumored that an MOB member named Beans was allegedly the second shooter in this incident. Patoon's cousin confirmed in a Facebook post that one of Patoon's killers was dead and the other one was in prison for a different murder. Mm. Little B was killed by the police in 2014 and Beans is currently locked up for murder. As you can tell from the Little Steve situation, Scrap was wilding in the streets and had a big target on his back. He was the younger brother of a rapper named Ruga, and Ruga said in an interview that Scrap had been shot on two prior occasions the same week he died. Scrap was still recovering that from shit. being shot hey, the second time. That, I, 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 I'm speechless, bro. Like, I really I watched this like, damn, who they really out here like this, living like this? Like, that shit ain't no joke to them. Like, feel me? That's everyday life. Feel me? Like, Bro, Shorty got hit twice the same week. He, You feel me? He passed away. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't care how tough you is, how thorough you think you are, how how, how big, big bad you think you is, bro. You get hit, bro. Go sit your ass down. You need to start rerouting how you move, bro. Straight up. I, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, bro, got hit twice and you still won't be outside? You still won't be in a mix? I still wanted to leave the house. Ruga stated in the interview that the day of Scrap's death, he warned Scrap that jail or death 
was the only outcome for the way he was moving. Scrap responded and told Ruga that he saw his own death coming and that he knew he was going to die soon. He died later that same day. On June 7, 2014, Scrap, real name Brian Weekly, was walking the 5600 block at South Wabish when gunman pulled up and opened fire. Scrap was shot multiple times and pronounced dead on the scene at just 18 years old. MOB took on the moniker Scrap Gang in his honor. Fans online speculate that either members of 600 or members of Shields killed Scrap. However, no one has been charged for it. Regardless, losing Scrap made MOB even more bloodthirsty in the streets. On April 3rd, 2015, one of 600's top alleged shooters named Little Boo, real name Jerome Anderson, was walking on King Drive when a gold-colored vehicle pulled up. A gunman hopped out of the car and shot him, then stood over him and continued to shoot him. I ain't gonna lie, that's a crazy fit, but I will say, people was wearing this back then. This probably like 2014, 2013. Yeah, for sure. 20, 2013 to 2015, for sure. People was really wearing, like, feel me, like, the whole matching, like, I ain't gonna lie, if you were, if you was wearing this where I'm from, bro, you was, like, one of the, like, the, the champ niggas, and where I'm from, champ mean, like, a lame, like, you champ for wearing that. People wore it, though, but you was, like, you was champ for wearing that, right? But in other states, bro, that's why I say Midwest can't dress down south, like, feel me, there ain't really a lot of states that can dress. The cool niggas wore that where y'all from. Feel me? Like, if you ain't have the matching emoji joint, the matching, feel me, the matching top to bottom, Versace, fake Versace, like, then you want, like, but where I'm from, bro, the cool niggas did not wear that. Not even the cool niggas. The niggas that could dress to an extent. Feel me? We didn't wear that, bro. That's <laughs> that's bad work. <laughs> like, on, like, he's matching from head to toe, and they got Tim's on. Come on, bro. That's bad drip. And then posed for a picture. What the, feel me? Rest in peace, bro, though. But, come on, bro. <laughs> multiple times. Come on, bro. Little Boo was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 22 years old. It is widely believed that members of MOB and 051 were allegedly responsible for his death. Hey. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. We been, we done, we done went through a couple names. MOB I don't really got nobody that you hear me. They 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 got a couple, but in terms of right now watching this video, it's 600 and O block, man, they getting they getting they getting spanked. They, they getting spanked, bro. So they, they getting spanked. On July 21st, 2015, a 600 member named Stello was driving a 2012 gray Dodge Charger southbound on State Street when a group of unknown offenders started shooting at him from the sidewalk. Then, a red vehicle pulled up and someone exited the red vehicle, then started shooting at Stello as well. Stella was riding in the car with another person, and that person shot back at the offenders. In the commotion, Stella was shot in the head. Responding officers pronounced him dead on the scene after discovering him in the driver's seat. Stella, real name Cass Singleton, was just 26 years old. It is believed that MOB was responsible for this murder. An MOB member named E-Boy, real name Eric Banks, is listed as the primary offender on the official murder report for Stello's death. A 600 member named 600 Breezy recently stated in an interview with No Jumper that the ops were false claiming Stello's death and that the person that shot back at Stello's attackers killed Stello by mistake. About a year later, MLB would take a big loss of their own. Baby. See, I'm not too familiar with MOB. On June 13, really 2016, in, but, uh, what a known for. shooter from MOB named Bebe, real name Jordan Liggins, was sitting in a car in the 6500 block of South Ross Avenue when a gunman shot him multiple times in the head. Bebe was pronounced dead at the scene at just 18 years old. Bebe was rumored to have been one of the gunmen in Stello's death, so this could have put a target on his back. No one has been charged with his murder. Following Bebe's God death, dang. MOB would create another enemy. On May 27, I don't even know what 800 is. An 800 member by the name of Pyro, real name Kevin Larry, was in the 5600 block of South Wabish playing dice with members of MOB. During the dice game, an argument would break out and an MOB member named Domo would pull out a gun and shoot Pyro to death. Domo would eventually be arrested and charged with Pyro's death. Man. Pyro was just 22 years old when he passed away. 
Domo, renamed Dominic Greer, was sentenced to 50 years in prison for the death of Pyro. And shit, shit crazy. It's all probably for a hundred dollar dice game. They weren't shooting no, you hear me? They weren't shoot, shooting a thousand, betting a thousand on the side, shooting a hundred, betting a hundred. They were shooting little, little, little petty twenties, little petty fives. Somebody was down about sixty dollars. Man, bro, you cheating, bro? Give my da 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 da, bro. I ain't cheating nothing, bro. Like, what you talking about, bro? Who you getting aggressive with? Man, stop playing with me, pow pow. All right, come on, lash. I'm telling y'all, this really be how I going, bro. If I'm lying, I'm flying. <laughs> I'm telling you. On September 21st, 2016, E Boy, written name Eric Banks, was walking down the street with another person in the 5700 block of South Wabish when a gunman hopped out of a car and chased him down and shot him multiple times. E Boy was taken to Stroger Hospital in critical condition where he was later pronounced dead at just mm. 25 years old. They, they a THF young 46 too, bro. member named Gucci was sentenced to 55 years in prison for this murder. Now, okay, MLB. They On May 22nd, right. 2017, an MLB member named Jamo, renamed Jamie Jones, was driving west in the 200 block of West 59th Street when someone in another vehicle opened fire, striking him in the chest, back, and arm. They were Jamo was at taken war, to Stroger bro. Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 27 years old. Members of 600 were allegedly responsible for his death. Lucky? Lucky? On June 30th, 2014, a 14 year old Lakeside member named Lucci, Lucci, real name Lucian Page, was walking on a sidewalk in Washington Park near South Wabish in 56 when a dark colored sedan pulled up and someone inside opened fire. Lucci was shot multiple times and taken to Comer's Children's Hospital where he would be pronounced dead at just 14 years old. According to the official murder report that an Instagram user named Joka Ghost was able to obtain, an MLB member and rapper named Dooski is believed to be the person that killed him. It mm. turns out that Lucci got into an altercation with Dooski's little sister. Then Dooski decided to get into a fist fight with Lucci in response. Shortly after the fist fight, Dooski saw Lucci walking and decided to kill him. A Damn. woman on the scene identified Dooski as the shooter. Damn. According to the murder report, Dusky told someone that he killed Lucci, but that he felt bad about it after he found out how young Lucci was. Dusky would be killed just a little over three months later, so he was never charged for this. Damn, this is crazy, bruh. On October 9th, 2018, Dusky the man, real name Vinitrius Chris, was in the 5600 block of South Michigan Avenue when a brown vehicle pulled up and gunfire erupted from that vehicle. Dusky was shot in the head and a woman near him was struck in her left foot. Both were taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where Dusky was pronounced dead at just 25 years old. Bruh. The woman survived her injuries. It's rumored that members of O Block and 600 were responsible. Members of MLB would take to social media to mourn Dusky's death and swear payback. Just 24 hours later, MLB would allegedly fulfill their promise. Hey, bro. This is real live, like... 24 hey. hours after Dusky's death, on October 10th, 2018, a 600 member named Waldo, real name Ramon Debine, was standing on a sidewalk at about 4.30 p.m. in the 200 block of East 63rd Street when a vehicle pulled up next to him and someone inside fired shots. Waldo was struck in the head and pronounced dead at the scene about seven minutes later at just 22 years old. Members of MLB were allegedly responsible for this murder. They would take to social media and brag about how quickly they got payback for Dusky. Dusky's funeral would soon take place and chaos would ensue there. At the f on October 22nd, 2018, Dusky's funeral was being held at Bethlehem Star Missionary Baptist Church when at around 12.10 p.m., four gunmen in hoodies pulled oh up and opened God. fire on the crowd outside. The crowd consisted of many STL and MLB members, and they returned fire to the shooters. In total, at least six people were shot, Dang. but luckily no one died. A 25-year-old man was shot in the arm. A 27-year-old woman was shot in the leg and lower body. A 24-year-old man was shot in the leg, 
an 18-year-old man was shot, and a 23-year-old man was shot in the leg. A well-known STL member and rapper named Wooski suffered the worst injuries from this situation as he was shot in the head. Dang. He has since been able to recover, but from interviews, you can tell that he is still dealing with some of the effects of his injuries. No one knows who is responsible for this shooting. People have alleged that O Block and 600 members were responsible, or even that members of 800 were responsible, Bruh. as MOB killed the beloved 800 member Pyro. No one has been charged for this shooting. On September 19th, 2019, a known shooter from MOB named Killa K.I., real name Keith Lee, was standing on the street at about... I thought Keith Lee did few reviews. Keith Lee. That don't look like Keith Lee. Let me find out Keith Lee from the rack. 11.24 p.m. Aight. In the 6,000 block of <laughs> South LaSalle Street, when someone in a silver-colored SUV opened fire. He was shot multiple times in the head and body and was pronounced dead on the scene at just 29 years old. It is rumored that members of 600 and Front Street were responsible, however this has never been confirmed. Man, Chicago continues to be crazier than anyone can even imagine. I'm gonna leave it right there because we already know how Chicago get it. I told y'all, they from Chicago, they born with a what? A switch and a ski out the womb. I'm telling you, it gets wicked. We don't... It don't surprise me no more, bro. It just opened my eyes and just gives me more knowledge on what's going on. But I already know. I did enough Chicago videos. I know enough Chicago gangs, names, friendships, enemies, whatever the case may be, to know what's going on, bro. And I guarantee you, this this video right here was just the beginning of it. This is they probably didn't even go through the whole thing that really they really could could with MLB. But you know. Yeah, I know. We we gonna find that for another day. We gonna keep giving all these bangers. I'm a, I appreciate the support. You feel me? Now nah, all jokes aside, bro, I keep going for y'all though, bro. Y'all y'all show me support. That mean that means y'all like my content. That means y'all like what's going on. So therefore, I'm eager to give y'all what y'all want. You did. It's Ty Fetty with the Fetty Man. Look, make sure y'all always stay smart, bro. Stay dangerous, and I'm gonna catch y'all next time, man. I'm gone.